Hi Sagis. So I will apologise first off, uh, I didn't get to do yours last month as I wasn't feeling too well. Um, so I do apologise for that, I am doing the fire signs and the earth signs which I didn't get to do as well. I'm doing them first, um, so I'll take my apologies for that. Um, please like, share, subscribe um, if you do like my videos, I'm being um, fair censored <laughs> on Facebook for some reason, so I'm on another block. Uh, for talking about menopause, well, for saying menopause feels like murder, well, here, yeah, whole. Um, so yeah, please like, share, subscribe if you do like the message. It always helps me because <laughs> I'm trying to build this channel, so I'm going to spend in a bit more time on here uh, rather than on there. So I am available for one-on-one -on -one readings. If you want to book in for a one-on-one -on -one reading, that will be in the description box below. So I'm going to be using my Empowerment Oracle deck, the one that I designed, and I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot to clarify the storyline for yourselves. So, Sagittarius, always take it as it resonates and leave what doesn't. We've got a leap of faith. So the situation is about having a leap of faith. It's about opening the doors for yourself in order to move forward. Have faith in yourself that you can open those doors and move on forward. The universe is basically telling you that there's new doors to be opened and you just need to have faith in yourself in order to open those doors and step out into the universe and be your almighty self. So, the challenge or blockage, what's crossing my Sagittarius is at the minute, is the moon. So, the moon being the blockage, you could be dealing with Pisces. Um, we do have the new moon on, the, on Tuesday, so on the 7th in the UK. Uh, I know, I think in parts of America it's on the 6th. Uh, so, depending on where you are, uh, the challenge could be about the new moon. So the new moon is about sowing the seeds for new things, new things to happen. Um, we also have the Nan Nan portal as well um, coming up next week. So the Lunar 13, I called it the Lunar 13, as we 13 is the Divine Feminine Energy. We have 13 lunar cycles in a year, 13 new moons, 13 full moons. A female has 13 cycles. Uh, and then I'm talking about menopause. <laughs> so if any of you out there talk, like going through menopause, I feel you. <laughs> so it's about coming away from any illusions, anything that's holding you back. Um, maybe you're like seeing through the illusions. Maybe you've put yourself in some kind of illusion. And we've got the ruins as to why it's coming round. So yeah, it's it can almost feel like life is kind of crumbling around you at the moment. But it's happening for a reason because maybe you were dealing with someone who's materialistic, you know, that type of thing, or maybe you fell into that type of cycle. And I know with the lockdowns and things like that, people have kind of had a shock to the system that material things aren't actually what matters in life. Um, so you could be going around for a more like kind of natural starting life so maybe you're seeing things for what they really are what's really important in your life you know it's like almost like feeling like you're at your knees because of what's been falling around around you i feel like some of you are wearing a brave face and now it's time to have like a leap of faith within yourself in order to move forward so in the recent past my sad years, we've got knowledge yeah so Everything happens for a reason and the things that you've experienced and the situations that you've been in, they were for a reason so that you could learn from them. Some of my Sagittarius could have just started studying something as well, learning something new, but you could also be learning about this new self that is like kind of being reborn within you. So again, it's about like learning knowledge, it's about looking back over the things that did make you crumble and put you to your knees and finding the lessons and the knowledge within those so then you can move forward. So at present, for my Sagittarius, yeah, the, the need for balance. So there's definitely a need for balance in your life. I'm going to be clarifying all these anyway, but there could be things that you need to let go of. It could be certain ways of doing things. It could be your own thought concepts. It could be people, you know, in order to lead a balanced life and a more like kind of chilled out energy, there's a need for balance. You could be dealing with a Libra. Near future recognition so i've no doubt that you are going to let go of whatever it is that is holding you back because there's some kind of recognition and seeing the light within yourself excuse the pun this just happened in the leo reading as well and um, so the light shining down on you and i've got it here uh the light shining down on you some kind of recognition feeling on top of the world you know realizing that 
life's too short, you know, opening them doors and chasing your dreams. You know, there's just a need for balance at the moment. So your power is twin flames. Oh, um, so you could have had a running with a twin flame. <laughs> I don't wish that on anybody. The twin flame journey is so hard to us. It's, uh, everyone always messages me like, is this person my twin flame? And I'm sat there thinking, wow, would you want a twin flame? Like, seriously, do some research. It's not the romantic relationship that everyone thinks it is. You know, you are mirrors of each other's like kind of soul. You share the same blueprint. Whatever you don't like about yourself, that person is going to mirror back to you. And vice versa, you know, you kind of break each other in order to make each other though. So there's, there is a blessing in it. Um, but there could be synchronicities. Your power could be like to see the synchronicities. So I called this card the 1111 Twin Flames. Um, I'm on twos at the moment. 22, 22, 222. Two, two. I've just been stalked by twos at the moment. But you could be seeing it's synchronicities. But your power is to get yourself out of these like energies, like these cycles that you keep kind of going round in, these dramatic cycles. There's always some kind of like drama, some kind of energy. And it's time to ascend up to the divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Leo had a very like kind of similar reading. Uh, so you might be dealing with a Leo, you could have Leo in your chart, or it could just be the fire signs that are in this energy at the moment. But your power is the twin flame. So maybe you are starting to realise that there's a connection um, around you that could actually, you, you know, making you question, is this a twin? Is this my twin? Um, and I know they do say that there's only uh, 144,000 people, um, like seeds, that have twins, you know. So within that, you know, there's only 144,000 twins in the world um it could be as well though it could be like a soulmate connection to go forward into a soulmate connection um so i'm going to clarify anyway outside influence the secret keeper so the secret keeper this can be someone who is very intuitive um, as an outside influence, you could have someone around you who's really intuitive. This could be your energy being an outside influence to your own reading. Uh, you could be keeping something secret or you could feel like someone else is keeping something secret. I feel like someone's keeping their feelings secret. Um, but when I drew the secret keeper, she was she's more like the high priestess. So she's kind of got the invisible cloak. So it's it can be, you know, like... She kind of sees the bullshitters for what they are. She knows the truth tellers and she knows the bullshitters. And she knows who to trust and she knows who to watch back with. So the outside influence is you could be dealing with someone like that or you could be embracing this energy within yourself. So there could have been some secrets or there could still be some secrets. Um, maybe there's a need to kind of like speak your truth in a situation in order to restore balance. Um... Hope Sophia's divine protection. So it's almost like you don't want to rock the boat, but you're kind of feeling like you're at a time where it's there's a need to rock the boat, especially if there's like a twin flame soulmate union going on here and you've been keeping your feelings secret or someone's been keep, keeping their feelings about you secret. Um, I feel like someone is going to speak the truth. The, I do feel like it is divinely protected though. Your outcome is call of the wild. So it is kind of like freeing yourself from other people's opinions, um, other people's kind of leashes, chains around you. You know, that type of thing. Uh, maybe doing dream work, looking at a more spiritual aspect of life. So it looks like you're going from material to spiritual. Um, it does look really nice. The call of the wild is about bringing in your animal guards. It's about doing dream work. It's about being protected whilst you do the dream work. We've got the divine protector card there as well. So you are, you are in a lot of healing. I feel like you could be keeping a lot of secrets. So you could be keeping things to yourself, just, you know, for now, because it's maybe not the right time to speak your truth in certain aspects. Um, especially in regards to love, it may not be the time to speak your truth, or you may not feel it is. So this leap of faith, tell me about the leap of faith for Sagittarius. And we have the six of pentacles. So 
new moon energy 6th 7th of uh, September but it's about equal give and take it's about balance it's about gifts of money time effort that type of thing again it's about balance so this leap of faith is telling you that you need to bring balance back into situations whether it be financial or whether it be balance within um, relationships friendships family you know equal give and take and that's what you want a leap of faith in order to I feel like the universe is saying, I have a leap of faith, that there is people out there that think the same as you, you know, that feel the same as you. So the moon being the challenge of the opposition energy. The three of swords. So there's definitely like a healing going on. I want to clarify the three of swords. So you could have been hurt or you could be hurting yourself. The seven of pentacles. It, <sighs> Some of my Sagittarius is, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> throat blocked. You could actually block in your throat chakra. You could be not wanting to speak your truth and you could be being patient because the truth that you hold within could hurt somebody's feelings. Um, so it's almost like you're being patient and kind of trying to let things just roll out on their own and hoping for the best. Um so we've got the ruins as to why this is coming around now. We've got the tower in reverse. So it's almost like, I feel like there's been a past tower. There could have been some kind of breakdown within a relationship, breakdown within yourself. Um, within that though, it's almost like I've got a pistachio nut in my head then. So it's almost like this, this, this break up or this breakdown um, of something, of some type of situation is like remove the shell and within that you've got you know not the hard shell you've got the soft you've got you know the lumptuous nut you know that type of energy um so i feel like everything happens for a reason you've got to believe that yeah because you deserve to be happy and it's almost like the planets are all aligning for you to be happy so this leaves lessons knowledge in the past temperance sagittarius so you were meant to go through everything that you have been through in order to learn the lessons and in order to come back into your true self so the need for balance at present is the Knight of Cups in reverse. So the Knight of Cups in reverse is about offers not coming in or the turning down of offers. The need for balance, maybe someone around you, there's someone around you that you don't want to offer your cup of love to. The Ace of Cups in reverse. I'm getting breakdowns of relationships. Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. The Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups in reverse though. And I picked this up in Leo. Um, there could be alcohol or some kind of substance involved. Uh, the Knight of Swords is about taking action in order to rectify these situations. It's to, to put things right. So they're asking you to take some kind of action. Yeah, the Knight of Wands in reverse. So coming away from flighty energy, in and out energy. So maybe if there has been alcohol and stuff like that involved, maybe you've like, uh, even stopping smoking, you know, and, and I've done it myself, I do it myself. So I, I say, right, I'm stopping, I'm stopping. I'll do like two days and then I do it again. You know, I end up smoking again. Um, so that's that flighty energy. That's that in and out energy. Um, there's also, so if it could be drinking, like I'm going to stop drinking. And then the week after, you have no drink. You know, so it's that energy, but the Knight of Swords is asking you to take the action to rectify something. It's also about the Knight of Wands in reverse is not putting up with player energy, not being a player and not putting up with player energy. So it's about like kind of sticking to something and sticking it out. The Emperor, yeah, taking control, taking stock of your own life. The Emperor is um, Taurus energy to me. The Seven of Cups in reverse. So it's almost like you are not an option, but you've also got to look towards your options. The Eight of Pentacles, we've got recovery. So there's some kind of recovery. It could be financial recovery after some kind of major loss, which is the need for balance. And we've got the Queen of Pentacles, so Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, energy there as well. So it could be in finances. And we've got justice. It can't be justice. Do what you know is right, you know. I feel like a karmic reward because it's coming on top of recognition Come clear, reward will be coming in. There could be new contracts coming up or you could be signing legal documents. Um, maybe in Libra season, you could definitely, I've pulled out Libra twice now. So we're going to Libra at the end of this month. 
So they could be you could be looking towards contracts and we've got the S Pentacles. So something stable, something where you feel grounded, safe and secure. They could be definitely like money going upwards as well. So the twin flame being your power is the eight of cups. So it's that leaving the past in the past, the emotional like upheavals that you've had in the past and going off onto new adventures so the twin flame energy around you whether it's the divine feminine divine masculine uh, it is infinity it's almost like you're on to a new part of your journey a new leg of your journey so eight is about releasing any karmic situation so maybe there is a thing a soulmate or a twin flame energy around you which is kind of giving you this light boost of energy to release any karmics we've got the four of um, cups so it's almost like you feel like you're missing out on something or someone the secret keeper judgment so they could be this could be your angel this could be someone else's um i'm picking up a highly intuitive person and maybe you kind of fear their judgment um Probably because this person can see you for who you really are. So they could be quite a tight connection. And you're almost like, oh, this person knows if I'm lying. This person knows if I'm there. You know, this that, that type of energy. And the SSOs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, it's about cutting out the bullshit, to be honest. And you put you it looks like you've got someone around you who actually can cut out the BS um doesn't put up with any like bs half thing maybe you've not been used to that before maybe this is your energy you're embracing that energy of you know wanting to cut out the bs now and go for what you really really want the divinely protected card we have the three of pentacles teamwork makes the dream work so they could definitely be going up in your game within finances um healing the will of fortune spinning in your favor and we have the empress be careful that you don't get into a third party situation as well but the empress is about sowing the season or treat what you've sown the magician so manifesting so there's something that you really want to manifest and the call of the wild the ace of wands mojo it's my dick pic <laughs> but sagittarius leo aries energy uh it's about getting your fire back it's like finding that fire within your soul so i feel like you're coming away from the material and going into more of the spiritual so i really like it uh there's a lot of healing going on a lot of upheaval um, but I'll leave you with that and as of October I will be adding extenders so I shall see you next week for the love readings so I'll take it as it resonates leave what it doesn't because that would be a bit confusing <laughs> okay bye